Back now with this. Hard to believe it's been two decades since Upper Darby's Tina Fey first brought us Mean Girls, a film that became an instant coming of age anthem for teenage angst. Oh yeah, and bullies. Love it. There's since been a hit Broadway musical to break it all down, make kids feel like they fit in. Own yourself, embrace yourself. Well, the two become one now in a brand new film that resonates even more in this day and age. It comes out today. Here's my exclusive chat with Tina Fey and her Fetch new cast. It's been 20 years since Tina Fey's cult classic Mean Girls first hit the big screen. And the original movie is based a, a, a lot on my own experiences as a teen in Delco. Shut up. I didn't say anything. Kind of re-examining my own behavior and how toxic it was. <laughs> this um, behavior, unfortunately, has not gone away in the world. That is so fetch. What is fetch? It's like slang from an old movie. <laughs> well, it's still something that we need to draw attention to and make fun of. So Faye brought back the plastics to meet the moment we're in. Katie pushed her. And then move it into modern times. Social media. Yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's not as big of a leap to bring it up to date as as it might be, you know, because I think it is about human behavior at its core. We as women have to be able to support each other. Get in, loser. It's been really gratifying to see how sticky these characters were with people in this story, how, how much people uh, still kind of care about it. Lord is the queen bee. Regina George. Don't look her in the eye. Renee Rapp first played leader of the queen plastics, bee. Regina George, in Mean it Girls on Renee. Broadway. from Broadway now to the big screen. How does it feel in this moment? It feels really great. It definitely feels exciting. It feels like it's been with me for a minute in a really, really good way. You're really gonna get noticed around here. <laughs> and Gallery Rice is Katie Heron, the, the new comedy. kid in school. I like your shirt. Thanks. It smells like sausage from the last time I wore it. Lindsay Lowen originated the role and welcomed Rice to this new era at the world premiere. Katie's um, character arc is so timeless and we're always going to relate to it. So it feels very special to to play that character and be a part of it. All of it inspired by Faye's own trips down the halls of Upper Darby High School. It's a joy and a surprise that here I am 20 years later still talking about this, this group of characters. Hey, PG-13, please. Stop. It's so good. Wait. It's so great. So Tina Fey, right, talking about which character really she felt the most connected to. Like, yeah. who were you in high school? Yeah. She says Janice. That was her, <laughs> right? So Ali'i Cravalo, who played Moana for Disney. Yeah. I'll talk to her and the rest of the cast coming up at 5 o'clock. Oh, I mean, they, these stars are incredible. And one group said I could sit with them. You can sit with them. I can sit with them. You're they said, in. They you're, said, in the, you're in the club. Hopefully not in the burn book. Is there no. a burn book in this movie? Yes. <gasps> I can't wait.